Welcome to the AIM Insight e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This module is discussing the steering sensor calibration function in Race Studio 2. Many AIM Sports data systems allow you to gather, store, and analyze additional sensors. One very popular sensor is the steering position sensor. Once the sensor is installed, it must be calibrated so it matches the driver inputs exactly for proper data analysis. In this case, we have already installed the sensor and configured the steering sensor as a mid-zero potentiometer. This is typical for steering sensors as the zero point, or straight ahead in this case, is somewhere near the center of the potentiometer's travel. To calibrate a steering sensor, we need to be in the System Manager section of the Race Studio 2 software. We need to make sure we have the download cable connected to the data logger and your PC and that the data logger is turned on. If we are all ready to start the process, click on the device calibration button. This will open the sensor calibration dialog box. This dialog box is made up of several areas and let's look at the different sections. First at the very top is an informational area that tells us the configuration name and the system type of the system we are working with. The next section is a list of sensors we have as part of the system that are able to be auto calibrated. In other words, these sensors can be calibrated with just a single click of a button and do not require the calibration process. In this example, we are showing vertical, lateral, and longitudinal accelerometers included in the EVO 4 data logger. The last section contains all of the sensors included in your system that require a calibration process. In this case, the system has a steering sensor and a throttle position sensor that need to be calibrated. In this video, we are going to only calibrate the steering sensor. So first we select the steering sensor by clicking on the blue calibrate button to start the calibration process. This will open the sensor calibration window. This window includes some basic directions to help you through the process. The window also includes a couple of other areas. At the top of the window is an informational area that reflects the channel name, the sensor type, and the measure units as you set them earlier in the channel section of the system manager. The next area highlighted is the current values of the sensor as it is positioned in real time. And this section is the area that you actually create the sensor calibration. Calibrating a steering sensor is a three-step process. We need to define the sensor location at three points of its travel the high or right position, the zero or middle position, and the low or left position. As a part of this process, we also need to tell the system what the position of, in this case, the steering wheel is. Typically, we will calibrate with the steering wheel a quarter turn to the right, this being with a value of 90 degrees, and then in the straight ahead or zero position, and ending with a quarter turn to the left with a value of minus 90 degrees. So first, let's click in the high or right position box and change the default position of 100 to our desired 90 degrees. Then let's click into the low or left position box and change the default position of minus 100 to our desired minus 90 degrees. Once we get the desired values input, Turn the steering wheel to the high or right position of 90 degrees, or a quarter turn inside the car. Then with the steering wheel steady at a quarter turn to the right, click on the high position Get Raw Value button. This will take the position of the sensor and calibrate it to the quarter turn that you have the steering wheel turned to the right. Then we turn the steering wheel back to zero or straight ahead position. When you have the wheel straight ahead and steady, click on the zero position Get Raw Value button. And finally, turn the steering wheel to the low or left position of minus 90 degrees, or a quarter turn inside the car. Then with the steering wheel steady at a quarter turn to the left, click on the low position Get Raw Value button. This will take the position of the sensor and calibrate it to the quarter turn you have the steering wheel turned to the left. Now that we have defined our three points of calibration, we need to finish the process and then transmit the calibration to the data logger. To start this, click on the OK button. Then click on the Transmit Calibration button. Then this window opens and tells you that the configuration was successfully transmitted to the data logger. To complete the process, we need to click on the OK button. 
That completes the calibration process, but it is always a good idea to do a final check of the calibration before going out onto the track to make sure that you're getting the values you want. Race Studio 2 gives you a function called online. This function opens a window that shows all of the sensors the data logger is reading and recording and their real-time values. To open the online function, click on the online button. Here is the online window. I have highlighted the steering sensor and as you can see, when I turn the steering wheel a quarter or 90 degrees to the right, the system is displaying it correctly. Then I turn it back through the zero or centered position and then to the left a quarter of a turn, 90 degrees, and then back to zero. If the online mode displays what you expected, then your calibration process is completed and double checked and you are ready to go out onto the track. When you have checked that your steering calibration is correct, click on the exit button to close the online window. Additional analog sensors like the steering sensor can provide very valuable information, but they do need to be calibrated correctly, and the Race Studio software allows this to be a very easy process. For more AIM Insight eTraining content and information about upcoming on-site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support. Your source for support and training of AIM Sports products when and where you want it.